Hey guys, it's Nicole and I decided to do a studio vlog day in my life kind of video because I feel like it's been a while since I did a lifestyle or day in my life video. I've been watching a lot of Cup of Jasmine lately, Jasmine, Jasmine, <laughs> um, as well as Cat Creature. I took a long break from art videos and art accounts, but I'm really, really obsessed with Cup of Jasmine recently. I just love her vibe. She's such a badass and she's so talented. Like I follow her art accounts and I'm so intrigued by her style and she really got me into printmaking. Um, like kind of carving out on wood and making stamps and prints so that's something that I wanted to try out so I have a whole day planned tomorrow tomorrow will be a bit busy tomorrow's a Saturday my Saturdays are usually quite packed because I have church and family dinner and that's just something that I really enjoy about Saturdays so tomorrow I'll be going to Art Friend which is an art store and I'm gonna see what I can find for printmaking and the reason why I started the vlog tonight is because I wanted to do a little painting uh, it's been a very long time since I did a painting as well so I thought it'd be really fun to go back to that so all of the supplies here are from art friend like this little easel and this canvas and all this um, artist white spirit these oil paints are the only thing that I didn't get for myself these were actually a gift from my friends for my 20th birthday so it's been more than a year and I haven't really touched it so I will be using these today I have a palette knife as well and just a small brush because this is a small canvas I don't think I need anything too big and I'm going to attempt to paint flowers I like painting nature because I feel like it's very forgiving it's not like a face where you need to adhere to a certain ratio especially oceans the reason why I paint oceans and the sea a lot is because you can paint the wave a bit wonky and it'll still look like a wave um, flowers are a bit harder but we'll see how it goes brighter so i won't be voiceovering a lot of the video i just wanted to pop in over here to give a short disclaimer that i'm not an art student or anything i just really like artsy stuff and i'm actually studying computer science which is pretty different from art i'd say but i do find that having something a little more freeing and liberal like painting does help me balance the more logical and analytical aspects of computing i feel like i really need that balance
on the way home now I'm just walking and I was supposed to eat lunch outside but I don't want to eat alone um, I don't have that level of confidence yet hopefully but that's why I got bubble tea from Koi I actually prefer Gongcha so I don't know why I got Koi but it's okay it's actually not bad this one when I get home I'm probably just gonna show you guys what I got and we'll see what we can do I still have some time before church starts so let me start with the wood that I got. These were... Okay, I'll put the name of this wood on the screen, but I got two sizes. This kind of A5 size. It's 22 cm by 15 cm. And this one which is 30 cm by 22 cm. I just got some wood cut knives. Also, I got some printing stamps. And they come in circular sizes already so I thought it was really easy to just make cute stamps and imprints on these. I also got this which is basically the same material as the printing stamps but it's in this rectangular shape and there are two inside so that's not bad. I also got this which is just envelopes and I just got a simple Pentel permanent marker. Finally, I got this which is just a hard rubber brayer. It's like a roller. So, oh, so that's that. And it's about 1 p.m. now. So I have a few hours before my church service starts and it's online because, you know, social distancing. I hope things get better soon, honestly, because I I really enjoy meeting people in person and it'd be nice to meet up in bigger groups soon but we will see how things go also you saw this morning how the oil painting looks now and I think it's all right I'm not too mad about it so what I'm about to draw is this I just want to give this image and the artist all the credit so I'm gonna start with pencil I'm just gonna roughly sketch the outline and then I'll go over with the permanent marker So I made some changes, uh, just colored it black here and here just so I don't get confused with what to carve and what not to. So I just finished my church call and I'm gonna shower because I smell of barbecue <laughs> and my itchy fingers continued on this piece. Carving is hard, honestly I don't know how people do it. This is what it looks like so far. I colored in more of the parts black and I also tried carving. You can see the parts where it's lighter. <laughs> So that 
that's that. Ooh. Ooh. I'm filming. <laughs>